What's up, y'all? Schildhouse here. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 04 career. Today, we go to Chicagoland Speedway, a track that I absolutely love, and hopefully it's going to treat me right today. We got a great car to take out there. Last time out, we had a top 20 finish at Daytona. Got ourselves some money, got some points, and a clean race. Nobody hated us. That was a big turnaround. We needed a race like that. So we'll turn our attention to the Windy City. Mile and a half have been good to us, especially with our upgraded cars. And uh, hopefully we can go out and have another good run, get even more money. We got ourselves a hell of a points battle going on here. Tony Stewart took over the points lead a few races ago, but Ricky Rudd has clawed it back and is now six points to the good over Stewart. So that's a good battle to watch there as we get into the summer months. Kevin Harvick is in third, Dale Jr., Sterling Marlin, Ryan Newman, Mark Martin, Dale Jarrett, Jeff Gordon, and Matt Kenseth rounds out the top 10. Where are we? We are 37th in points. That's, you know, we made a little jump up after the good finish of Daytona. Let's keep that trending on the upwards movement, shall we? Uh, that's, that's a nice looking driver respect board. We had a clean race at Daytona and we shouldn't be in any immediate danger going into Chicagoland unless, well, unless I stir somebody up, which has been known to happen from time to time. When I'm not grinding to the top of the NASCAR Cup Series, I'm grinding for epic loot in my other favorite video game, Destiny 2. To celebrate this week's release of the Witch Queen expansion, Advanced GG is 30% off with my code at checkout. If you want to support me beyond just watching these videos, that's a great way to do it. I'll leave a link as a pinned comment below the video and in the description as well. Let's put a car together for Chicagoland. Uh, I started building a new chassis. It's a six race build, so it's kind of middle of the road, but it should be pretty damn good. So that should sure up the chassis department. Uh, we got uh, two races left on the repair on chassis six here. So let's take chassis five, 64, 62. That should be good for Chicago. And the engine shop, really nothing going on. Trying to save some money because I know we need to get a shop edition going. It's been a long time since we've gotten an upgrade. But, uh, you know, the engines are okay for right now. Let's take uh, let's take this 6158. Brand new, fresh motor ready to go. Last but not least, the body shop. This is where I'm saving up to get that next shop upgrade. Uh, is that uh, plus 10 drafting. We never even... I never even bought that. It's super inexpensive. But if we get that top 35, we'll have enough money to rush it in. Uh, in like three races instead of if I did cheap for nine races. So if we got a top 35, that'll be what we do with the money. But uh, yeah, we got three races left on a new build just to get another nicer body in. Let's take this one. 6054 should be good. That gives us a car rating of 63. That's pretty damn good. Let's head out to the track, see how we do. Well, we got ourselves a race car here in Chicagoland. Second fastest in practice, and I did... I did like 30 lap run uh, just to try out a different strategy. I think I know the strats. So I ran a complete fuel run, came in, changed just right side tires, filled it up with fuel and went back out. I think it's drivable. This car is so good. I think we can get away with changing just rights on the first stop. If we can do that and this race stays green, we're going to save ourselves like six seconds doing that. So that could be the strats. We'll see. The car is very good. The car is very good. But it was worth trying out something different just to see if, if there was something to be unlocked right there. Oh my god, look at that three and four. That was nice. Show me the money. Once again, pole in the payday car. All but one time since we got that paint scheme have we been on pole. It's absolutely insane. 29.3 by three tenths over Newman. Get you some. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? Well, Joe, this really is a state-of-the-art facility. It's a one-and-a-half-mile trial, well, similar to Las Vegas with more banking. We're in for a great race today. The Payday Chevrolet is having some trouble in the points this year. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. You'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series.
Kevin Harvick is in the top five in points so far this season. Gaining on the leader is tough when you are in the top five in points. It takes you having a good race and the leader having a bad one in order to gain anything substantial. Hermie Sadler hasn't made much of a move in the points so far. Well, there's always going to be someone who has to fill in the bottom of the points list. Of course, none of these guys want to ever see their name there. Sometimes it's just not your season to shine. Here we go. We've had a really bad streak of wrecking on the first lap. We didn't do it at Daytona. I really don't want to do it today. So let's hope we can just have a good clean run. Maybe use that strat to scam some time. Here we go. 66 laps. Pit every 21 laps. And we sh or 22 laps. And we should be good. God damn, we just got mobbed. That's fine. Just don't give up the bottom here. Oh, hell yeah. We completed a lap without wrecking. That's incredible. All right, Jimmy, go get him. I was just trying to get behind him. Fuck. Why can't I judge these things correctly? I was literally just trying to get behind him and give him the spot. And I don't know how we didn't die worse than that. Oh, my God. I mean, honestly, what's the meme at this point? Death, taxes, and me fucking up in the first couple of laps? Oh, my Lord. How about... Death, taxes, me winning the pole, and then fucking it up. You're clear. That could have been a lot worse than it was. I thought I thought it was going to be game over right then and there. <laughs> the 17. Well, everything's settled out here. Uh, we're in the top 10. I just set the pit strategy for right side tires. We get to have a little bit of damage to fix now. That's going to cost... About a half a second to get it all fixed up. Um, but, you know, in the big picture, we're saving three, four, five seconds by only taking right side tires. Uh, I just need to take care of the tires on this run so that the left sides can go all the way to lap 44. That That's really how this strategy works is left side tires got to go 44 laps or thereabouts. And the pace that we run on two tires is still strong enough that we're competitive. So the time that we gain, we don't give it all back or more being on old left side tires. Still Move them up the track a little bit. Right yep, that's fine. I've been doing a pretty good job of not sliding them too bad. The 21 car is still there. We're down a spot. Keep digging. There it is. Ah, we get through three and four really, really good. Better than they do. That's really our biggest strength here. Ooh, passing Dale? No way. This car is pretty damn good. Hmm. Still sketchy down low, but we hold our own. Right rear is worn. That's fine. Get the pass done. P8. Wow. Look at this thing go. You know, the crazy thing is, is the gap to the leader hasn't really changed a whole lot. It's been hovering around three seconds as I've been passing cars. So that tells me we actually might be faster than the leader. So the left front just went yellow at lap 15. 
That doesn't make me feel very uh, confident it'll make it to lap 44. Maybe I don't need to do that strategy. We're holding our own here in the top 10. Pretty comfortably. I mean, we, we really might be... I might be putting myself in a terrible spot if I do that strategy. I was just trying to think of ways to save a lot of time, but we're so fast. You know, we'll probably lose some time on the pit road exchange. We always do. 17 laps for the left rear to get yellow. Yeah, I, I don't I don't like... I'm talking myself out of, out of that strategy now. I just don't think it's worth it now that we're running this good. Like, now that I see our performance, I don't think we have to do it. Now, Chicagoland has a really hard pit road to get onto. Really hard pit road to get onto. I tried to practice a little bit during practice. It didn't go well. We are pitting this lap, so good luck, everybody. Yep, yeah, there it is. I just, I can't pit under green to save my life. I really can't. As soon as I hit the flat, it just spins. Like, I even tried to slow down on the track. Maybe that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to park the bus on the track and then turn onto the apron at the last second. Fuck them behind me. Damn it. Well, that's a shame because uh, we just lost a shitload of track position there. Out of the top 10, I just spun while trying to pit for green flag pit stop. That's just put it on the bingo card of stupid shit that I do in these races to sabotage myself. No one to be mad at but myself, honestly. That just uh, I'm going to have to figure this shit out on how to pit during green flag pit stops. I'm just going to have to figure it out. Whatever I'm doing right now is not the play. Mark Martin, did, did he take two tires? Like, he was gone. By a wide margin over everybody else. All right, well. We'll, we'll, we'll blend back in where we blend back in. 18th. Oh, we got some work to do now. But we know we got a good enough car to do it. Who's up first? Steve Park. Hey, Steve, I'd appreciate you not blocking me down to the white line, you fucking asshole. Take care of those good Why? Vehicles. Look, what did that get you? Nothing. Dickhead. In your Looney Tunes paint scheme. You are a Looney Tune. Let's get these passes done as quickly as we can. The leader's just getting away from us, that lead pack again, but... You know, big picture. We're fine. Had a good restart. Right. Terry. Such horse shit. Okay. God, I hate the way these AI rate. Oh, my God, Terry. Yeah, there's a car out there. You're so preoccupied with me. Why don't you look out the windshield instead of the rearview mirror? Dumbass. All right, we've caught this pack. Oh, boy, don't do that. Uh, we've caught this pack. Car's just really good. I mean, that's not much more. Kurt, come on, man. There's not much more that you can really say. The car's just really good. Um, all right, Kurt. I'll just, uh, you, you just, whatever lane you want to run, Kurt, I'm going to follow you, pal. Oh, he wanted to block me right there. He thought about blocking. Bye, Kurt. But, um, yeah, the car's just really good. We'll work our way back up here. I'm just... I'm trying to think of how I'm going to do green flag pit stops. I'm going to have to figure it out, obviously. I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to execute a green flag pit stop without spinning out. So I think really what I'm going to do is just slow down on the track and then turn down at the last minute. So, like, ride, you know here and then then turn left onto the access road because clearly on worn tires you cannot do that 
I just have to make sure I have a big enough gap where I can pull that sort of stop on track thing and not Quinn Halfit. We are now in our fuel window, but I'm going to run this thing out as long as I can. There's there's really no need uh, to uh, to pitch us yet. Everybody else in front of us really has it. It was just Bobby and Ricky that short pitted. We'll be in soon enough, but I want to see how long these guys stay out. All right, we are pitting this lap. Oh, somebody blew up. Sterling. There. Number 97 is outside. Good enough. I guess that's the way to do it. We had the gap. Nobody behind us. Fuck it. Good enough. All right. No changes. Four tires and fuel. Get us to the end. Come on, pit crew. No fuck ups. This is a big one, boys. This is a big one. So far, so good. Come on. Payday crew. Beautiful, boys. Beautiful. 16-second pit stop. Thank you. I think we absolutely fucking nailed it on pit road. We're up into ninth. Yeah, that was, that was really good. That was a hell of a pit stop by the pit crew. I didn't fuck it getting onto pit road. And we got 13 laps to finish this thing off with a top 10. We have reeled in Jeff Gordon. This is kind of nuts right here. Jeff blocking, of course. All right. Got one outside. It's all clear, but I'd block me too, Jeff. There's four and a half seconds between you and the leader. Ten, buddy. Ten laps to go. Ten to go. We are knocking on the door of seventh. With Jeff Gordon blocking his absolute balls off here. Yeah, okay, Jeff. Block this. See ya. Clear. Oh, we have caught him. That's top five out the windshield with Newman. And Bobby, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, Bobby, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have, Bobby, thank you. That's P6. That's P5 in front of us. I'm not sure we're gonna catch Ryan Newman. I have used these tires up to plow through the field. Even if we don't, what a fucking run. It ain't over yet. There's slow cars up here. Anything can happen. Oh, Newman's getting held up a little bit. Will it be enough? Probably not. Come on, buddy. We're... Oh, there's action ahead. Lapped cars. That's a lot of lapped cars. Oh, don't fuck me here, boys. Come on. You let Ryan through. Let me through. Hold your line. He's still there. They're on both sides. Hi, David Green. Would you like to get the fuck out of the way as a lapped car? That would be great. Still there. Fucking asshole. Digging, You're lapped out. Get out of the way, shit brick. Oh, my Lord. All right, white flag. P6. All I, I, I am very pleased with this. I told you we had a good race car. If not for spinning, getting onto pit road, who knows? But damn, can we have more mile and a halfs, please? P6 on pace. Let's go! Yeah! Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah! Tony Stewart gets the win by three seconds, but god damn it, P6 baby! Many drivers let us and we almost died right there, but we didn't. Yeah. 
just goes. Oh, we, uh, yeah, Jimmy Johnson minus 40. I still can't believe we got away with that at the start. I, I just misjudged it. I thought we were done. So to only have a minus 40, he finished better than me anyway. So I'll call that fair. That's another bonus day right there. I think that's the first time since we got the payday sponsorship. We finished in the money two races in a row. And now look at that. We got three quarters of a million dollars. It's just that easy, man. If I didn't have all these DNFs, we'd have so much fucking money. We would have come so much further, but we just need to keep them happy. Two races like this in a row will definitely keep them happy. Those Tony Stewart with the win, Jarrett Martin Johnson Newman, who we couldn't quite catch, ran out of tires at the end. We finished sixth after starting on the pole. Jeff Gordon, Bill Elliott, Bobby Labonte, and Jeff Burton round out the top ten. One caution for me self-spinning on the pit road. And Stewart won by three seconds. Nice. Well, three quarters of a million dollars. I think it's time for us to go in and get a shop edition finally. Plus 10 drafting is appealing. We can rush that in for $450,000, have that in three races. In the meanwhile, start building the bank because the next thing that I really want to target is over here on the chassis side, uh, this shock dyno. And it allows us to build track-specific chassis, which I think is going to go a long, long way. Only problem is they're very expensive. So if we get a couple good races in a row here, we might be able to rush that thing in a little bit quicker. But even still, we're so far behind on development because of all the DNFs this season. But that's what we're going to do to help our drafting out because we need that for the plate tracks. That's something that's really missing. And I feel like if we have better drafting, we're going to be able to really succeed on the plate tracks, even with the strategy stuff. So we'll get that going. $450,000, we'll see it in three races. Okay. And with the leftover money, I think we need to build ourselves another engine. We'll do a six-race build. Um, yeah, we'll do a six-race build. That'll be pretty good power plant. We'll see that. Uh, but that, yeah, that'll be good. Get that going. And uh, we'll still have some money left over. Well, that was an absolute blast. Oh, man. Uh, Chicagoland was great to us. That's what I was hoping for. And two races in a row where we finish in the bonus money. And you see the instant impact that it has. It allows us to do so much. Get a shop edition going. Build a new motor without really sweating it. So, I need to keep knocking these good finishes out. I need to really take a step back and think about how I'm approaching these races. But we're up to uh, New Hampshire next. We had a very good race last time. We were at New Hampshire in Season 1, so I'm looking forward to going back here see if we can't get a sneaky good finish again. If you enjoyed today's episode, you know the drill. Leave a thumbs up for me on the video. It helps so much when you take the couple of seconds to just click that button. It doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me and the channel so much. These videos get out there a lot more when people do that. Share it with your friends if you think they would enjoy it. And, of course, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If that button's red underneath this video, that means it's time for you to hit that subscribe button and join the community. And come along for the rest of this career mode ride. It's been fun. I'm enjoying it again. Feels good. Hell, it's 1.30 in the morning. I might record one more just to see how New Hampshire goes. But I appreciate you watching today's episode. We will see you in the next one from New Hampshire.